so we are talking about precautions that we need to take in order to safeguard ourselves from fire so first is keep matches or lighters far away especially away from the reach of the children avoid wearing nylon or synthetic clothes instead use cotton because nylon or synthetic tend to catch fire easily and the next point we are going to talk about is in the kitchen switch off the gas cylinder when not in use as gas leak can cause major fires and at many times we see that gas leakage is the result of our carelessness and it leads to major fire breakouts if there is a situation of gas leak do not touch electrical switches or strike a match open all the windows and doors of the house and call immediately for help we have already seen that in case of electrical fire we should not throw water as that may cause electrocution instead use sand or mud the next point is when in the kitchen when in the kitchen we need to switch off the gas cylinder when it is not in use as the gas leak can cause major fires and if there is a situation of gas leak then do not touch electrical switches or strike a match open all the doors and windows of the house and call for help so this is the next most important point moving on to the fifth point is in case of fire caused by petrol we need to try to put it off by throwing sand and mud so if you talk fire in general needs to be put out by throwing sand or mud water cannot be used as petrol is lighter than water and floats on it so the next point is talking about fire in the case of petrol and then in that case we have to try to put it off by throwing mud or sand as water cannot be used as petrol is lighter than water and hence it floats on water the next point is in case of fire in the building do not use the lifts for evacuating the building instead use the staircase so if there is a fire breakout in a building then it is always safe to use the staircase and not the lift for evacuation the next point is if you are if your clothes are on fire don't run follow a simple rule stop drop and roll until the fire is out so the next point is in case of in case fire catches our clothes then it in order like it leads to panic and then we tend to run but it is not safe to run instead we need to stop drop and roll on the ground till the fire is put out so these are the precautions that we need to follow in order to safeguard ourselves from fire so the first next point is when in the kitchen we need to switch off the gas cylinder when it is not in use as the gas leak can cause major fires but if there is a situation of gas leak then do not touch electrical switches or strike a match instead 
open all the doors and windows of the house and call for help. The next point is in case the fire is caused by petrol then try to put it out by throwing mud and sand. Do not use water to put out the fire as petrol is lighter than water and floats on it. The next point is in case of fire in the building then do not use the lift for evacuation use the stairs instead. The next point is if your clothes are on fire then do not panic and run instead stop drop and roll till the fire is put out. Moving on to the next point is in case of fire in a room do not hide. Try to vacate the room immediately. If you are unable to move then drop down and crawl. It is easier to breathe in a fire if you stay low while getting out. So in case you are in a house and the house is on fire then do not try to hide. Instead try to see for a place where you can vacate the room immediately. If still you are unable to leave the house then drop and crawl. As it is easier to breathe in a fire if you stay low while getting out. So these are all the precautions that we need to take to safeguard ourselves from fire. So first is keep matchsticks and lighter away from the reach of children or anyone else. Next is avoid wearing nylon or synthetic clothes as they tend to catch fire easily use cotton clothes instead. In case of electrical fire avoid throwing water to put out the fire as it may cause electrocution instead use sand and mud. In case of gas leakage then try not to put on the electrical switches or light a match as gas leak is the a cause for major fires and then try to go ask for help immediately and open all the doors and windows of the house. The next is in case of fire due to petrol then use mud and sand to put out the fire and not wa water as uh, petrol is lighter than water and ends floats on it. The next is in case of fire in a building then use the stairs for evacuation and not the lifts. The next point is if, a if your clothes are on fire then don't panic and run instead stop drop and roll till the fire is put out. In case we are in the house and the house catches fire then it is not safe to hide. Instead we need to try to vacate the house immediately but if we are still not able to vacate then we need to drop and crawl as it is easier to breathe in a fire if you stay low while getting out. So we need to follow all these precautions in order to safeguard ourselves from fire.